I'm gonna cover a portable power station from the company Broey, I think's how you would say that. And this is a 288 watt capacity. It's got a LED flashlight on it and it has a nice little carrying strap. So you can carry it like a purse, everybody. It can run a laptop up to 50 watts, gives you five charges. A phone can give you 22 charges on that. A drone, 30 watts, so eight charges. Basically, you know, it goes down and down through there. You know, enough about that. Let's just go ahead and open this thing up and let me show you what you get. You get a nice little, looks like a shaving kit, a little set of an instruction booklet right there, a power cable that has a, that looks like a five mil barrel plug on it maybe. Size power cable, is it's a 1.5 amp, your little strap, and then the unit itself. And this thing is very nicely packaged in here, by the way. Look at this thing. Does that not look awesome? Look how it has this leather case around it. This thing looks so premium, everybody. I really, and it's, and it's, surprisingly light looking over it it's a very light kind of feeling item right here and this is a cover just so you know that's a diffuser cover i didn't even know that i started playing around and i found that you get a little little thing right here for extra cords and all that let's go ahead and i guess i can leave that on there and show y'all how this thing works okay so let's just open up some of the stuff before we start going over the unit here so i got it all laid out here actually let's see what's inside this hole so let's open this case up oh this is cool inside of here you get a car charger that looks like it has a little small barrel plug a very premium looking USB-C to USB-C. I love, man, they really went all out. So this would be like, you could run a solar panel or something like that. That is a barrel plug. And I'm guessing, where's the barrel plug inlet? Right there. So input right there. And then you get a screwdriver and you're wondering why, and it's actually a pretty good quality screwdriver because this little strap here has a flathead screw that you're gonna take off just like this. Let me set the strap up real quick. So you could easily throw that around your shoulder and carry this as kind of like a shoulder sling. It's got an adjustment there. It's got the swivel. And you know what? If you don't want the strap, just do like this. Take these off. They did not skimp on this thing at all. There's another model that has a, the P600 has the foldable like solar panel built in. This is the P, like the PNS300 and it doesn't have that. And we'll kind of go over some of the specs here for y'all. So the capacity is a 15 amp hour, 288 watt, 9.2 volts. The net weight is 3.7 kg. It's a LIFO, so it's a lithium iron phosphate battery on the inside. It's got a battery management system, so it's got like a protection on it and just kind of like going over a fan. So that's temperature and humidity gauge. How cool is that, everybody? So it gives you the internal humidity. I've never seen that. That's a first for me. And some troubleshooting, kind of what you get with it. So yeah, there's enough of that. Let's go over the actual unit itself. So once I hit the AC, now the AC is on. If I want to run DC, can I run AC? I can run DC and AC both. So just like the band, we can go AC and DC at the exact same time. You've got the input right here, a barrel plug and two barrel plug outputs. You get two USB-A, and they look to be 18 watt on those, and USB-C 18 watt, and one, that's a 100 watt USB-C output. So that would run a laptop, and they have these nice little kind of covers right there. So if you had like a little small compressor or something I wanted to run out, that'll work. Let's plug something up into this AC and see how much power power we can generate out of this okay thing. everybody i have a little small sander right here i like using this sander to see how much power i know this takes around about 100 watts so let's plug that in it looks like we're using about 94 watts and that's full power i could really use this this could run for hours we've just dropped one so we're still at 86 100 it spikes up. So there you go. You know that it runs those sanders nice. And hey, look, I'm color coded on that too. So yeah, there we go. There we run a sander. Let me try running some USB-C and a USB-A and let's see how those things. Okay, start. you wanna make sure to turn your DC on and you can see it has little small lights right there. So my DC outlet is on flashlight here, which is one of the brightest flashlights probably I've ever seen in my life. This thing is amazing <laughs> how bright this flashlight is. And let's go ahead and let's try this out. So I've got me a USB-A cable here. So we do have it on DC. Let's plug that in. 
is it charging there it is it just came on i don't know if y'all can see that in the camera so the light just came on that it's charging this is a lightning cable usb-c lightning cable plug that in there now this will fast charge my iphone so let's try the to fast charge well, well, I'm already at 97%, but that's a fa that is fast charging my iPhone right now. So we've got that going. And we're running this. So I'm charging. I'm at 106. It just so I'm charging that light, my cell phone all at the same time, and it's running this little sander. That's awesome. And let's turn the light on this thing. So let's really max this thing out. Y'all see that? I've got full power on the light. Take the little lampshade off. We're still only at like 110 watts. This thing is awesome. Let's let's go ahead and unplug this. I have a heater in here. Let's max it out and see if I can fault it out and see what it does if we fault it out. Okay, everybody, I have a heat gun here that I know will run 1,000 watts. It takes um, 1,500 watts of power. So let's do see how the safety feature works on this thing. Let's plug this in make sure it's turned off so we are plugged in there and let's see what happens so it shouldn't even run on low instantly well there you go so what it did instantly it faulted out because this is 1000 watts of power now how do we reset it i guess we would unplug this so the bms system works extremely well so we know that it's safe and now let's try so once i unplug that let's see if we can go back and use the sander again if it reset itself yep just mash the button and now i'm back that's awesome that lets you know that the thing is safe. This is something I'm gonna keep kind of like in my in my car. So anytime I need like portable power, I have enough to kind of get me through for a while. Then if you got a little small solar panel, you could easily charge this up and be good to go. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got on the Browie power bank, flashlight, you know, a little bit of everything. AC, DC, see y'all in the next video.